Hello everybody and welcome back to Insane Brit Gaming, I'm the Insane Brit and if you want to know my full um, opinions on the Arsenal vs Chelsea game I've made a special vlog for it, uh, especially citing that Sarri blamed the players for his defeat <laughs> which we played tragically shit um, <clears throat> so I've put the FIFA on, it's updated and it's moved Fabregas to AS Monaco and then I come with this lineup. Um, of course, I, I've moved one or two players. Pedro on the right, William on the left, and Hazard playing a number ten, uh, number false nine role, uh, which is so they've acknowledged it. I've made one or two changes. Um, I'm not too sure how this manager is going to go about the cup game, assuming we were focusing on that more than the Arsenal game in theory. But then Hazard played that false number role, false number nine role, and then um, uh, William and Pedro was here. So what I've done is I basically put a doy on. Uh, for William, uh, Kovacovic is on the bench, I've moved Barkley into the midfield, Jorginho I'd like to see not play, I don't know if Kante is going to play, or maybe he will take Kante off, uh, and then put Loftus-Cheek there, is he injured, is he suspended, I can't remember, um, but he didn't play, so I'm not too sure what he's going to do there, especially when we're counting on this cup game, uh, out, the, out of two big games in Arsenal and, and, and Tottenham, uh, we're in the semi-final, it's the second leg, we're down 1-0. I'm not too sure what he's going to do. So I'm basically going to leave Lost of Cheek on the bench along with Kovacovic uh, and just put Barkley there for principal. And Jorginho is going to start along with Adoy on the right, uh, Pedro on the left, or maybe I should put William on the left. In fact, that's what I think I'll do, and I'll leave Pedro on the bench. Giroud, I would like to see start, but uh, not primarily, but I don't know if... Uh, see, that's the logical thing to do after the Arsenal game, but I don't know if he will start that. He'll just go with what he's doing. I don't know. I'm very... I'm trying to, you know, predict what the manager will do. Uh, I know what we, we would all do, and that's put Giroud on and, and Hazard on the left. But this manager seems to be somewhat curious. Um, Kepa uh, what shouldn't start, really. It should be uh, Cabrero in the cup games, but then he's used Kepa before. So I'm just going to stick with a fairly strong lineup. And I hate to say that, but, you know, normally he goes with a, a young team, but he's on the cusp now at this particular point in time. He's looking for a reaction from Chelsea. So Emerson's going to start on the left side, uh, replacing Alonso. Not that Alonso played bad. Christensen is going to replace Rodriguez. I think Louise will start. Esplicato will start as well. So it's a fairly, unfortunately, you know, it's, they're not going to be able to experiment too much with his team because, or in theory, I don't think, because of the position that he's in right now. Uh, Moretta's lot have been left out of the squad uh, two times, so... I don't think he'll play. Moses essentially don't get a look in anymore. Drinkwater don't get a look in anymore. Um, so, yeah, essentially I'm going to leave it like this, guys. And we're just going to have to run with it. How different the, uh, the actual squad is, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I haven't looked at the uh, Tottenham squad. I have no say in that whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, basically after the Arsenal game, I made a vlog talking about the uh, what's been going on at Chelsea Football Club or whatever. It's only about 15 minutes, like a rant. I won't even lie, but I just go down my thoughts and the feelings and opinions in full about, you know, where we're at or what's going on with the club a little bit. Especially, it was mostly a reaction to the Arsenal game. I won't even lie. Um, and how poorly we played. Uh, it was just really poor. Didn't even look like scoring. It was a complete joke. Um, and my predictions about what will happen, who will stay or will we go. Will he make it to the end of the season? I just don't know. Today, number 28, number 27, so as I said, I haven't looked at the Arsenal, uh, I mean the uh, Tottenham squad at all. I think, I think it's Arsenal with three points behind us right now in the league. This is a cup game, by the way, the Cabrero Cup. Um, and it doesn't go on away goals like I thought it did. And, we, and in real life, we lost 1-0, so we're 1-0 behind, so we've got to get uh, 1 to get a draw, 2 to get the win. In the simulation, we actually had, it went 3-2, so we need a goal just to get the draw, I think, as well. Uh, Kepa starts for us, of course, as for the Quater, Christensen, David Louise, Emerson. Emerson's a good player, I really do like Emerson. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Adoy, Hazard playing that number 9 role. Uh, Loftus-Cheek, Ampadu. There's a fairly strong lineup and a fairly strong bench as well. Tottenham, I think, obviously, it's going to be the part of their main season, of course. Pretty much like us at this particular point. So they're going to want to put, uh, put out a strong team. Loris is in goal. Like I said, I have no, uh, no saying this. Sanchez, Old of World. Rose, Sisisco, Winks, Eriksson. Ooh, Winks and Sisisco. Deli Ali plays up top. Son and Kane. Oh, they're playing two up front, apparently. Lamelia, oh wow, okay, so this is unusual. Son has been playing quite well. 
Kane, of course. So, yeah, this should be very interesting now. Again, I haven't seen Tottenham's recent games, so and the FIFA have changed everything, taking Fabregas out of the squad and everything, so that should be very interesting. That is no longer an option now for Chelsea, along with, and they must have updated a load of other teams that are losing players. I think uh, Ramsey, is it Ramsey? Oh, yeah, Ramsey, who's, who's leaving Arsenal. He's not signing a contract and going to Juventus, which is crazy in itself. So we're live from Stamford Bridge, Chelsea kick it off. If you are a Chelsea fan, smash that subscribe button. I do these every single week. Or maybe you're just interested in my uh, commentary in general and you want to hear me dictate uh, what I will look through the teams about your particular team who Chelsea face and what I thought. Uh, William now on the left side now, crosses the ball, cleared by Rose, I believe that was. I put Tottenham in green, which I was hoping just would break up the colour a little bit. I don't know, it looks weird as hell. Rose now down that left-hand side. Gives it to Deli Ali now. Threads it through the cane. He's on his own. Drags it across goal. And uh, Chelsea gather up. But that was a dangerous position that he was in. The last match was very expansive and open. Tottenham had the better chances, I believe. Dominated, uh, dominated the game. And Barkley getting a bit physical. That's what they needed in that Arsenal game. Deli Ali breaking away. Oh, and there you go. Unbelievable. True to life. In what five minutes, six minutes, they scored. Son, two up top. He's been effective in previous games or in the previous game. You know, oh my god! I think last year didn't he do that amazing run and score against us, or was that this year? I don't even know. Wow! Look at that. A good ball in from Dele Ali and Son. Not marked. A small man on the pitch. He's quite small. Makes one of the biggest impacts. Look at that. Low, got his body low, difficult angle, maybe the keeper should have done better, but no one marking Sun, really. Maybe the two focus on Kane. Unbelievable. Yes, I did notice the amount of likes that I that, that my when Chelsea lost, you know, on my video. Thank you for that. So whoever is watching is not a Chelsea fan, they're like, fuck you, and gave it a like. <laughs> so Chelsea down now. So Cisco. Hazard losing out. He's too deep. He has to come back in the midfield to get the ball. Kane with a nice back heel now. Dali Alley. A doy coming back. Chelsea have to get into this game. Can they respond to Sari's criticism and blaming them? Good ball in from Barkley down the left side now. William on the ball. Will he cut inside? Yes, he does. Hands it to Hazard. Hess is free! Great save from Lloris. A doy on the ball, and I think it's a goal kick. Chelsea responding to uh, that goal. Look at that. A nice attempt uh, at clearing it, Louise, you crazy bastard. But he uh, missed the header totally, and it, well, it just went nowhere. Oh, uh, it's a goal kick. Ten minutes in. The doy. Kante now. Chelsea trying to regain. Oh, what a good ball. Regain uh, control of this match. Adoy now on that right hand side. Gets the cross in. A bit deflected. Williams still goes up for it. Gets challenged. Emerson now bursting forward in possession now. Tries to get a cross in. Doesn't work out. Chelsea wants more. Typical Chelsea going back. Louise, good pass to the door. Plays it into the centre now. Eden Hazard now. Finding some space. It's Adoy. Left foot. And it's gone wide. High and wide for the youngster. Remember, this kid is was offered seventy thousand a week and turned it down. So he, he, I'm not too, he doesn't feel quite sure of his future right now. Bayern Munich really looking into him, offering thirty-five million. I hope he doesn't leave the club. We've already lost Fabregas. Um, Higuain rumored to be coming in this week, maybe to even take part in this game. Of course, that change hasn't taken precedent under FIFA. And if I did that, it would have been uh, uh, the thing where it's un, uh, not in form. So, if that happens, it won't be very true to life, it won't be as interesting. So, if I do that, it'll just be to move one player and I don't, or, or two, and I don't really like the idea of doing that. So, if he does come, whenever the update comes from FIFA, that is when you will see Higuain take part in his matches. Until then, uh, if he, even if he does come, or anybody comes rather, uh, we will have to wait for FIFA update to move that particular player to that club, whatever, and that's just the way it's going to be. But just to give you reference there, like I said, if you're interested in more of my opinions of the Arsenal game, you can check out the vlog that I released today, or Sunday, whatever. Kante now, plays in a good ball into Hazard now, runs at them, left side, oh brilliant done, brilliantly done. Chelsea still in possession, live, looking lively. 
Emerson now knocks it back. Louise coming forward. Passes it into the centre. William. Oh, brilliant pass. It what a goal! 1-0. Oh, my God. What was it? 1-1. One, one. Oh, my. What a goal from Hazard. That was a brilliant strike. Right foot. I'm trying to work out the math right now. What the hell it would be. Look at the build-up play. Quick face, pace passing. Right foot. Don't even... He just hits it. Hard and on target. And the goalkeeper a great, attempted save. No fault of his own. Unstoppable strike. So now what the hell would this be? Is it 1-1? One, one? Sorry, in this actual game. Give me a minute. That's the response Sari's looking for. So it's 1-1 one, one in this match. Uh, I think they were 3-2, was it? 4-3, so Chelsea would still have to get a goal. I think it would be 4-3. Tottenham trying to come forward now. It's only 1-1, one, one, you know, in retrospects to this game. But it's been quite open between both teams. Tottenham looking for stronger in the first 10, 15, 20 minutes. And Chelsea, oh, well, actually, no, first 10 minutes now. Chelsea seem to be growing into the game. It's only 20 minutes, 25 minutes into the game overall. We've had two goals. Daniel Rose, back and forth. This match seems to be bouncing. Lloris. Oh, we need to give it away there. Son. Gives it to Deli Alley now. Christensen gathers up. Kante. Looking forward now to Barkley now. On that wing, Adoy. What, what will he do with it? Cuts inside. No, crosses it. Oh, Kante, back post. Oh. And Barkley with a header. Not enough venom on it. Loris catches. Jorginho, who ain't seen too much of in this game, ironically. Adoy. Chelsea looking very strong coming forward. Oh, William now with the header. Oh, wow. That was that was close. Hit the post. Jorginho loses out. Son now. Looking it forward to Susisco. Susisco bursting into life in that midfield. Giving it to the right, right wing, I believe that was. Kane. Son on that right hand side now. Henderson trying to get back. There's the cross. Kepa with a diving save. That was a weird one. Thought he was just going to catch it. Dive to catch it this time. Barkley. This is a lively match, isn't it? Back and forth, back and forth. Not boring and dull. Or some can be. That's for the equator. A doy now. Cuts inside. What will he do with it? Takes a strike. Not enough venom on it at all. Looked like to be blocked off. He was given 13 minutes in real life to make an impact. That's not enough time. So he needs the, he needs game time and uh, to really, you know, gain experience in his game and make changes and choices throughout a match. You know, can't have one shot every 90 minutes and then say, I did my best. You know what I mean? You need multiple to see what works, what's the best. A good through ball from Hazard now on that left side. Perfect pass and the we Oh no, it's William. Was he offside? Yes, he was. I was going to say, it looked like a great ball in. VAR comes in next year. Full time in the Premier League, apparently. So we won't have no mistakes in theory. Apparently, I don't know. I don't know all, all the ins and outs of it. Chelsea in possession now. Bursting forward. And on the left-hand side, William now loses out. From onto Tottenham. In the last simulation had about six, seven hundred um, views, which is fantastic for me, you know, to get those kind of views. And it was a nil-nil game, that simulation, but it was a, a very interesting one. So please like the video, share it, you know, it really helps me out. And it's free, you don't have to do anything just to share it, you know what I mean? So thank you so much for all your support over this point in time. I have 1,991 subscribers at this point in time. Louise now, with a, a good clearance. Sort of mucking around it at the back. Totling coming forward once more, looking strong. Oh, Chelsea trying to get the breakaway. Adoy, Kante, back to Adoy now. That's been a quite a bursting forward, joining the attack now on that right side. With a cross in, it's gone that way. So Cisco, what the hell? I think that was the Cisco with some that poor touch, and they should have just cleared it. 
Sorry if you can hear background noise. People are knocking around the house and everything. Kane now. Ericsson now trying to hold off. I don't know who that is. That's the quite I believe it is. Son comes to help him out. Now it's Rose now with a cross in and Louise with a clearance. Tottenham still in possession now. So Cisco. Oh, brilliant bit of play there. A little bit of trickery. And Rose is just completely giving it away. And Chelsea would be happy to go in the half time at 1 1 at this point. With Chelsea, I mean, Tottenham bearing down the pressure on them. Throw on to Tottenham now. Ericsson. Rose now. Free to cross it. Kante. Jorginho. And that is the end of the first half. Tottenham obviously the stronger team. Chelsea coming back into it. Uh, butting heads going back and forth. So it's an entertaining game looking lively on both sides. A goal each in the first half. So remember Hazard might, I don't know who's going to come off. I mean Giroud might come on. But I don't think they're very, um, they don't move players around I don't believe on the FIFA si on the simulations. Like how I would. Like you know I'll put Hazard on the left. And um, coming on to the pitch. So this goes coming off for Tottenham. For Dyer, uh, who, who I think scored one of the goals in the, pre uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, in the um, in the previous uh, simulation, he was good. But Sisisco played, has not done too badly in this match either. That's a change they've decided to make straight away. Chelsea's giving the ball away, out of the field or out of the world, sorry. As uh, on the ball, Son now, and Kane has been called offside. Christensen with the free kick. Kante now on the ball. Bursting forward. Ah, oh, back heel's gone wrong. Never mind the tippy tappy stuff. Just do the simple stuff, you know what I mean? Come on. It's nice to see here and there, but it looks so painful when it don't come off. Tottenham now bursting forward. Louise intercepts Sun. Hazard now. Not marked. Down the left hand side now. We've got William now. Crosses in, Hazard, oh, hit the post, oh, my, oh, the bar, sorry. What a great opportunity, that was close, man. Far out, but it still managed uh, to hit the the bar. Could have had a rebound there, unlucky. Sun now. Winks, down this right-hand side, it's Trippier now, ain't seen too much of him in the game. Gives it to Sun, bypasses his man, oh, great shot, oh, great shot with his right foot. Goalkeeper went up for the save. Another substitution being made. Ross Barkley's coming off. Loftus Cheek is coming on for Barkley, I believe. And uh, Tottenham have got a substitution coming on. Rose, the left back. For Davis. Oh, that's an unusual one. Rose hasn't done anything too bad. No injuries, I've seen. Now here come uh, Tottenham bursting forward now, down that left-hand side. I think that was Davis with a cross. Louise cuts it out. I'm assuming that's Davis because he's playing left-back. And it's given away by Adoy. Chelsea back in possession once more. Loftus-Cheek now hands it to <clears throat> Emerson. William. Hazard. Jorginho actually putting a ball in. My God. It's the first time I've seen him do that. William now on that left-hand side now. With a weak cross. Back post. A doy on the ball. No, it's Kante. Sorry. Look at... Oh, Kante gives it away. Don't... Oh, what a clash there. Goes up with a header. Tottenham wanting it more, it would seem. Trippier now joining the attack. He was very effective in the last simulation I watched with... Uh, or I, I did with uh, Chelsea. He's getting on the attack here and there on this game. There's a weak cross at the beginning, but near post. Oh, far out shot. And I think that was Davis. Trippier is coming off. What? I think Pedro's coming on. Adoy is coming off for Pedro. And um, Trippier's coming off. For Arrera, Aurora, yeah, the PSG player, I believe. The right back. Another substitution. 
Jorginho coming off. That's what they should have done in the beginning. He ain't done too much. And Kovacovic coming on. Now, if I can just do this. Kovacovic hasn't been moved. He's in that centre role where Jorginho is, which is fine. But Kante would be better off in that position. And they and Pedro's just on the right for like for like. So they haven't changed. They don't change any of their positions. They just make a sub for sub. So just to give you an idea there. So literally, if you know where Kante is playing and they take him off, you know who's replacing him for that particular spot. William now on that left-hand side. Cuts inside, gets across in, out of world, world, whatever. Gets the clearance now. 65 minutes gone. I think they've all made their substitutions. Unusual ones with Rose coming on for Davis and, you know, just a few unusual ones. You know, things you wouldn't really worry about. You'd think like the left back or right back. Kovacovic now on the ball for the first time. Chelsea wins it back. Gives it to Hazard now. Plays a 1-2 with Kante. That's for the quite overlapping now. Back to Pedro. And seeing that Pedro just come on, of course. Oh, and he's given it away to Davis. It's ridiculous. Deli Ali surrounded. Hasn't been too effective since the first 10 15 minutes that he was, Deli Ali. I haven't seen him too much. Kovacovic now with a good challenge. Lost his cheek on the ball now. Will he take a strike from distance? He's known for it. Gives it to William now. Cuts inside. Oh, and it's a good shot. Close. 70 minutes gone. Oh, good attempted save. It's a goal kick. So right now it's four three on the I think it is anyway on the away on the um, on both games or whatever. So Tottenham are going through. <clears throat> Has it now in the box? Cleared by Davis. William, Pedro, as for the Quater. What the hell was that? Give it away completely. Been out with Sanchez with the clearance now. Tottenham on the break. Kane ain't going to beat all those players, is he? Got others joining in attack. Oh, it's a great through ball. Kepa comes out and gathers up nicely. Pedro on the ball. Aspilicueta joining the attack. Overlapping now. Looks positive for Chelsea now. Early cross. Oh, and it's gone nowhere. What the hell was that? Tottenham in possession now. Bursting forward. Trying to hit Chelsea on the break. Orero now joining the attack. Winks. They slowed down play. Dyer. Nice passing from Tottenham at this point. Chelsea holding off. Davis. And uh, challenge there from Kante. Winning the ball back, which he should have been doing the whole time anyway. Not his fault. It's uh, being played out of position. Uh, Kovacovic now on the ball. Hands it to uh, Hazard now, who's sitting quite deep. Good from Chelsea. Looking positive. Pedro of the cross. Down the centre. has been cleared once more. Davis now on the ball. 82 minutes gone. Kane. Ali. Sorry, that ain't Ali. It's uh, Aurora now. Kane on the ball once more. Kante gathers up. Chelsea looking very strong in their defence. Coming forward. Which is ironic, really. Kante now. Ah, oh, loses out. Son now being bullied off the ball by Louise. Chelsea trying to get that one, another goal. That would be a draw, technically. That's for the Quater. Kovacovic now. Hazard now on the ball. Found some space. And Loftus Sheik. No venom in it. Ah, uh, yeah. Man of a match. Hmm. I've got to be honest with you. I'm not too sure who I would give man of a match to right now. I can't even remember who scored the bloody goal for us because I've been just, just commentating so much. Kane. Deli Alli. Ooh, and a great save.
great shot, great save. Well, for me, man of the match, I think he's been involved a lot. He scored the only goal. For, well, he scored the goal, and that was Son. For me, I'm going to give it to Son. He was pretty good. William with the clearance. Winks now. Puts it back into the box. Oh, my fucking God. What in the world was that? I didn't even, like, that was out of nothing. Unbelievable. What a goal. What the hell? <laughs> I'm changing it. I'm giving it the winks. What in the hell? The youth player. I, I'm sorry. I, I ain't reacted to that. I'm like, what? What the hell just happened? Uh, look at that. In the box and out of nothing. He's just hit it low and hard. The bottom uh, left-hand corner. Or right-hand corner. Down to uh, Kepa's left. Through three or four players' legs. Bang. What a quality strike. I, I'm astounded at that. And that pretty much sums up Chelsea. If if this was a Premier League game and it was 1-1 uh, and we were trying to get a point and trying to progress, that sums up our season right now. At the death. Unbelievable. I just can't believe that. That's you know, It's 1-1. We was going to go out the cup anyway based on the, the score line. But if you're looking at it in general, at the death, we have conceded another goal. You know... <sighs> Unbelievable. Giroud never even came on. It was Pedro. It was a bunch of others. Uh, Loftus Cheek. Uh, Kavakovic came on as well. Um, which is astounding. That's two midfielders and a winger and no head striker, uh, considering. I mean, I know Hazard was doing well in that role, and you don't want to take Hazard off, and that's probably why the computer's like, nah, to hell with that. But it is what it is. They don't move their players around. Giroud never even got a sniff, kind of thing. Um, I'm astounded at this. I really am. It was a good open game. Um, look at that. What a header. Uh, dominated in the first half. Uh, Tottenham. It started to open up for Chelsea and get better. And uh, really competing for it. Um, but ultimately we've lost. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's simulation. According to this, we're out of the cup. Hopefully, in real life, we're not out of the cup and we go on win it, you know, 3 1 or something or something crazy, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Chelsea in real life react to the situation. Um, I, I'm hoping, uh, I, I'm hoping Giroud starts the game, to be honest with you. That's my real opinion on it. If you guys enjoyed the simulation, hit that like button. Uh, if you like what I do here, subscribe, whatever. Um, there's a whole, I do, I've done the whole season up until this point. I will continue to do so for as long as I can um, with my commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links will be in the description below. And uh, keep the blue flag flying high. And if you want to donate to me uh, via PayPal, you can. Or you can buy my merchandise and stuff like that. It is in the link in the description below. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.